my name is Allie and welcome to my channel so I got this idea from dare to dream 1999 or as you may know them Kelsey and Grace I just love their videos I don't know why but equestrians find it entertaining to watch other people talk about stuff so thought I'd give it a shot um I live on the east coast of the United States and I just wanted to give you more of like the common budgeted equestrians take on things and what I buy and where I find them so let's get started I'm going to do a breeches tour just like I think it was Grace did it Kelsey might have did it too but I love Grace's videos so we're gonna start off with my newer breeches and then we're gonna go to like the older ones so the newest pair I've bought recently are the, are the Tough Rider Cotton Low Rise Breeches, which are $46.99 at Dover. Sorry, that's really loud. And they're just the brown pair. So I just went back and got them recently. I forget what it was for. But I just went back and got them because I love them. They're so cute. They're really comfy to school in. They look really nice and like, whoa. <laughs> they look really nice and fancy, like with a sweater and a belt, you know. So, they look nice. $46.99, which is a really good price for breeches. They last forever, even though I've only had them for a little bit. My other ones are Tough Rider. Highly recommend. They're really cute. So, no surprise, my next pair is the... Tough Rider Cotton Low Rise Breeches. I don't know why I had to look again. They're in the size 28. Same exact thing. They have a nice little zipper pocket here, which is handy, and it fits my phone. You, any of you have the Galaxy S3, you know it's really hard to fit it in like jeans pockets or anything. So, fits in this pocket completely. Don't ride with it. Trust me, it's not fun. But when you're around the barn, it fits all the way in there. You can zipper it up. It's perfect. So, yep. Another pair of Tough Rider breeches, and I don't think I have them with me. Somehow they disappeared, but I also have these in the full seat. The Tough Rider Piaf full seat breeches are $74.99, but I got them on sale at Middleburg Tack Exchange. If any of you live on the East Coast, you know Middleburg Tack is like a consignment shop. So I got them on sale there for like in the 40s, which is really good. I just prefer full seat breeches for schooling better grip and everything. These I got at, oh what's it called, Saturday Liquidators. They're really high-waisted as you can see like that's a gigantic butt. I mean my butt fits in it because my butt's big but they're the, I think they're Dublin. Yeah Dublin, they're cotton. They're in a size 30 and I normally wear like a 26-28 and they are harder to get on but they're really like sleek so they're good for summer because they're not too bulky and of course they have this really little tiny strap so the only thing that fits it is my really small belts but I think they're cute I'm not a big fan of plaid breeches but they work and then my next pair oh my gosh I love these are my carrots flow rise performance tights I think I think that's what they're called. I just put the book down. They're normally like, I don't know, 50 or something. Yeah, like 52, I think. And I bought them at Dover just the other day with some money from selling my horse. I'd always wanted them, and they only had them in orange, which I was like, ugh. Like, ew. I'm just going to try them on because I want to see what size I wear, and I really like them. And I'll just wait to get the purple ones because purple's my favorite color. But I tried them on, and... Oh my gosh, like I've never worn leggings before and I guess these are just like leggings because they are so comfortable and my butt looks really good in them. So, you know, that happens. Um, but yeah, so they're the Karen's, Karen's, Carrots Performance Tights in medium. They've got cute little carrots in them and they come with a pack of carrots which is really weird because like I'm not going to go out and plant carrots in the middle of winter. But I got them on sale for $42. I didn't even know they were on sale. They're like hidden in a back corner. So 
I went and got them and tried them on. Took them up to the front and she's like, oh, you saved $10. I was like, whoa, that's a nice surprise because I was going to have to borrow money from my mother to get them. Because I only had like 42 exactly. So my next pair, okay, really quick story. I used to own a tack shop. It didn't go so well because why shop with us when you can get new stuff from Dover, that kind of stuff. But I got these from our shop. And they were on consignment, so I got them really cheap. I don't remember how much because it was like three, four years ago. They're on course tights and they're by, they're cotton. Choo, choo, choo. They rip really easy because I have a rip in the thigh already. doesn't stop me from wearing them. And I think they're more for kids, which is why they don't fit me that good because they have the paddock boot thing, which I use. It's really handy, but I just always find myself pulling them up so my butt's not hanging out. But, oh well, breeches are breeches. I'm not going to turn away a pair of breeches. So, those are good. These ones I absolutely hate. I don't know why I bought them. Or I tried them on. Like, I tried them on at our shop. I can't believe I bought them because they're the weirdest thing. They're the Schoolers tights. And a size medium. And they're this color. But look at the butt. Like, the full seat is so weird. It's like this weird material. And if you're not, if you don't have them pulled up super tight, it looks like you pooped yourself. And actually, I was at a lesson. And I was bending down on one of the school horses to do their plant boots or something. And my sister's like, Allie, did you have an accident? And I was like, no! It's just my breeches. I'm sorry. These I actually have to return to the shop. They are Taylor Sportsman's. And if you haven't noticed, they're the men's. Well, this must have been the most oddly shaped man because they're like, they fit me in the butt, which is really sad because that's a dry it butt. But the calf is super, super skinny and they're really short. So like when I put them on, they came up to mid calf and it's like, this man must have had a giant butt and been like a midget with tiny legs. But I borrowed him from the shop one day because we ended up going to a last minute show and I didn't have breeches with me. So I ran into the shop and grabbed whatever fit me, and this was the only thing that came close. Which, they worked. I mean, nobody, I, I didn't care, so what? You do what you have to do. If I have to wear a man's breeches, I will. Now these used to be my mother's when she rode. And she rode in her 20s and went to Meredith Manor. So these are uh, at least 30 years old. They're the Miller's breeches. The size is large. So Miller's Equestrian, and they just look like this. They're really rough material, but like I said, I don't turn away a pair of breeches. And my half chaps kind of dyed them blue. So yeah, these Velcro at the bottom. So like I said, hand me down breeches, because I just can't go out and buy new breeches all the time. These ones, I don't like too much. I don't wear them that much unless I have to. They're Devonair. They're in a size 32. And once again, why do people back then have giant butts? Or are they just supposed to be really high waisted? But they're really tight. I don't like riding in them because even like this is supposed to be the knee patch. It's really slippery. I just don't like riding in them. I slide around a lot. I don't know. So yeah, so I highly, if you haven't noticed, highly recommend Tough Rider Breeches. They're cheap, they look nice. Not cheap, but cheaper than like tailored sportsmen's or something. They last a long time, they're comfortable, they look good, they're affordable, and yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, just comment below what you'd like to see. Any suggestions on how to improve my videos would be great. Even if you don't have time for that, just click the like button. Let me know you're there. And, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye!